Hey everybody, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and it's 30 minutes early tonight, but we didn't want both of our lives to go back to back and it'd be too late. So that's why I bumped it up 30 minutes. So Mandy with Western, um, Western Grace Home Decor and Design, she'll go after me. And I told her about what I was doing with pill bottles and she was like, oh, I'll do it too. So, <clears throat> so we just kind of collaborated together. Hey, Carla. And decided to do it together. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Dee Dee. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm glad y'all are here. If you're watching replay, just do hashtag replay. Let me know you were here. And um, thanks for watching. Um, hey, Sue and Phyllis and Shelby. And I'm gonna, we're probably just gonna jump right into it because I got a lot to kind of put together in a little bit of time. <laughs> Cause we didn't want it to be it runs so long. Hey, Charlene and Lisa, Melanie and Cindy. Hey, everybody. I'm so glad y'all are all here. I know it's 30 minutes early, but you know, I just, we just didn't want it to run so long for people on the East coast. It's, it'll be really late. So Mandy's on the West side. She's in Colorado. So she's an hour behind me and the East coast is an hour ahead of me. <coughs> hey, Lily and Judy and Kathy and Shirley and Carla and everybody. You have lots of bottles. Okay. So I have two sizes. I have the big, these big, big ones. Cause you know, from surgery, I had all kinds of medicine and stuff. So I'm done with all that, thankfully. And then I have these little ones. The little ones are what I'm gonna use tonight, but you definitely can do this to the big ones, okay? Um, thank you, Anita. Hey, Denise. Okay, so I'm just gonna jump right into it. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the top off. We might, I don't know, we might use that later. We'll have to see. And for what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it a coat of chalk paint, okay? Just for my, it's not a good paintbrush. Just for a base coat. Um, <clears throat> hey, Catherine. Hey, Jeannie. Yes. Y'all, look at my hat. Look at my hat. Ain't it cute? I told y'all I saw that hat in that box and I said, oh, I'll wear that hat. Hey, Judy from Missouri. Hey, Kathy, I am. I'm hoping you're having a good day, too. And Sheila from Arkansas. Okay, so I didn't even wipe it off, didn't even do anything to it because we're going to totally transform this little bottle, okay? <clears throat> so I've already done some. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. I got a frog in my throat. Hey, Charlene. Hey, Fran. So it's just white. I forget to tell y'all every time. White Waverly chalk paint. And I'm um, just giving this medicine bottle, pill bottle, whatever you want to call it. I'm just giving it a coat, a base coat. Um, and it, for what I'm going to do to it, you probably really don't need to. But I did it this way the first time when I try. I've already tried it. Um, <clears throat> so... I just didn't want to defer from that. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. It's from Beware Sportswear. I got it last year, but it's super cute. Hey, Sue from Cottonwood, Arizona. All right, so I'm just giving it a good coat, and I'm going to set that to dry on its own. I'm not going to help it along in any way. Hey, Judy and Jill. Hey, Colin. There's my son. I finally caught his comment. Usually, I miss it. Yes, yeah, look at my hat. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, goodness. Hey, Candace. Hey, Lisa and Chris. Yes. Y'all are my hero. Okay. So, all right. <clears throat> so, what you're going to need for that is, that's the medicine bottle, okay? It's drying. It's got chalk paint. So, I'm going to set it over here so people hopping on will go, well, I thought she was doing medicine bottle. <laughs> I am. <coughs> Hey, Fran, thank you. Oh, you're working on ladybug gnomes. Fun, Angela and Fran. Okay, so you're gonna need tumbling tower blocks, the little little blocks like this from Dollar Tree. Um, I'll have to count them. So I'm going to start, uh, I'm gluing two together, some sets of two <coughs> together like this, like this side to side, okay? You get eight a month and throw them away. Um, yes, I wanted to, to craft with them because I have a bunch from surgery and all the medications I had to take. 
that I'm not taking anymore, thank God. Um, <clears throat> so, I decided I wanted to do something with them. Um, hey, Lynn from Colorado. Mandy from, it was coming on after me. She's from Colorado. Okay, so I need to say two, because I'm going to forget a step. Hey, Pam. Um, so, right now, I've got, I'm going to count them. I'm just gluing sets of two together. <laughs> yeah, Judy, just throw it on when it's bad hair day. But, you know, I have had it on all day. I had to go to the doctor, so I was like, it's rainy. And I just said, I'm throwing a hat on, and I'm just going. Um, so, that's what I did. Hey, Jerry. Oh, Debbie, you're so sweet to say that. Thank you. Thank you for being here. <coughs> Oh, here's Tanya from Hummingbird Paintery. Hey, Tanya. Hey, Liz. How come I got an odd number? Oh, well, I figured... Oh, here's the other one. I was going to say, I'll figure that out in a minute why I have an odd number. And I'm going to count them and tell y'all how many you need. Oh, I have had a wonderful day. Yeah, you got your box today. Awesome. Oh, that's okay, Lou. I understand. You're picking him up at the airport. Is he coming to see you for Mother's Day weekend? That's so awesome. Okay. So, here's my, my pill bottle. I've got it drying. It's got a coat of white Waverly paint on it. <clears throat> Just to give it a base coat. It is hard to keep up with the messages, and I try my best. Um... <laughs> Yes, Dolly, I have been cutting, um, and I'm going to, tomorrow evening, I'm going to release the, um, the, uh, little gnomes, the little gnomes right here again, and the gumball, um, the gumball container stands. All right, let's see. Let me just cut some piece off. So, I've got to do a little something here to these blocks, and I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Okay, so trying to see how much I need. All right. <clears throat> Sorry. Hey, Sandra, it's good to see you too. Okay, so I'm just cutting two little pieces of jute. And it's going to make sense to what I'm doing in just a minute. But I have to do this while I'm gluing the Jenga blocks together. Okay, so you got two blocks. And I'm going to... Hopefully, I can get this to work. I haven't practiced this part. But I'm going to sandwich that piece in there. Uh-oh. I want it to do a certain way. And I'm going to So, it's like this. <laughs> Y'all are like, what is she doing? Uh, message me, whoever just said that about their credit card, just message me, um, on my page, and we'll work it out. Hey, Becky, you're okay. I'm 30 minutes early, so you're really not late. <laughs> you're okay. All right. So, I got two, and I just, <clears throat> I cut this little piece of jute, and I got this little piece sandwiched in there, and I'm hoping it's gonna stay. Please stay. So, I'm gonna do this one the same way. Put a bunch in the middle. There you go. It's kind of hard to hold all this at the same and do this. I need another hand. <laughs> Sometimes I need an assistant <laughs> to do crafts. Okay. So I'm squeezing it together really, really tight. Oh, okay. I'm excited to see. Yes, I'm going to have more gnomes. I'm going to release them tomorrow evening, but I'll make a post at what time. <coughs> Yay, Ree. <coughs> Y'all, my throat. I don't know what is going on. Hey, Tammy. Okay, so I've got two like this. You'll see in a minute what it's going to all come together here in just a minute. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have 16 blocks. I have eight sets of two that I glued like this. So now I'm gonna glue three like this, okay? Y'all probably know where I'm going with this already. Probably know where I'm going. 
Oh, you made the wagon. Oh, cute. A full-time assistant crafter. Yes. Just to, just to get me things. I don't usually have to get up very much. Okay. Becky said, choose me, choose me, choose me. <laughs> okay. I would love for y'all to come and craft with me. It'd be so much fun. Okay. <clears throat> and y'all don't forget... Uh, Mandy with Western Grace Home Decor Design. She is doing this with me. So, um, she is going to come on after me on her page. And she is going to do a craft with pill bottles too. Yes, welcome if you're new. Welcome. Okay, so I've got three sets of two together. Okay, now I'm going to do another set of three. <coughs> Oh, Becky's telling them the time difference. I know, the time difference is confusing. Um, so, Mandy is an hour behind me. So, she's mountain time in Colorado. Everybody's wanting to know what to do with the pill, medicine bottles, the pill bottles. And I could probably come up with a lot more than just this one. But wait till you see what Mandy's doing. I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm like, why did I think of that? Um, hey, Becky. Okay, so this one's kind of like wonky or something. Anyway, so I've got sets of two, and then I made two threes, okay? So as you can guess it, I'm making a box. So our little box is going to go like this. But I'm using more than one pill bottle. I'm just painting that one to show you what I'm going to do to it. You had me put on silent. <laughs> Okay, all right. All right, so I'm making a box, okay? So you can guess it, those are the little handles. See how I, I just sandwiched those in there in that crack. You can never find the wooden blocks, Judy. Oh, I'm so sorry. Now they have the big ones, you can get the big ones pretty much um, Dollar General. I get them at five below, the big ones. But, um, I think tar somebody said Target has them, too. But if you get the real Jenga, <clears throat> the real Jenga blocks, they have the words etched in them. It's 510 in California. I hope it's sunny there. <laughs> There's Anna with J&A Woodcrafts and Decor. You have two devices going, watching your favorite people. <laughs> All right, so I'm just putting glue on the edges and I'm closing in our little box that we're making. You gotta get it straight before that glue sets up. Ooh. But you know, if it's not perfect, it's okay. Hey, Debbie. Oh, you, yeah, Tanya, you have both sizes. Okay, so here's my little, my little crate looking box. It's, it's a little wonky, you know, this side, this one up here is kind of doing some kind of Bowing trick. I don't know what it's doing, but it's okay. All right, so now we got to put a bottom on it. These are just the regular size um, craft sticks from Dollar Tree, just the normal size. Um, yeah, look in the toy section at Dollar Tree for the blocks, for these little blocks like that. Um, so anyway, so let's see what I'm doing. I think four is gonna fit across the bottom. And yes, I could have made the bottom out of the sticks, but I just, I just didn't. But I am gonna cut, I am just gonna cut a little bit off the end of each one, just so they'll be, won't be hanging off the edge. 72 in California. It's warm here. It's just rainy and sticky. It's been rainy all day. This morning it was nice, but then it turned um, nasty. So we're going to get our box built, and then we're going to work on our little bottles. I'm showing y'all all kinds of tricks tonight. The little box, the bottles, and then have something else <laughs> that's going to go with it all. Okay. I hope I didn't cut these too short. No, I did not. So this is just going to be our little bottom. And you can make the bottom out of the blocks if you want to. Okay, <clears throat> make sure they're gonna fit. So I'm just gluing on the bottom. I feel like I'm in a, I'm in a crafting marathon. Speed crafting. 
Dollar General with the toys, yes. They don't have the blocks at your Dollar Tree. Hey, Jane, you're okay? I'm just really early. <laughs> we just didn't want Mandy to go too late for some of the East Coast people, so we, I bumped it up 30 minutes. Oh, thank you, Patty. 80s and sunny there. I'm jealous. Perfect weather. All right, I'm going to show y'all the bottom in just a second. Then we got to paint it. Hey, Tony. There's Tony with um, All Strong Up with Tony. She's one of our Craft and Biz buddies. All right. Last one. And this one's going to hang over the edge a little bit, but I'm not too worried about it. Rain in Kentucky. It's been, it just came through here, so yeah. <clears throat> okay. So there's our bottom with glue, strings, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. So there's our little box. How cute is this? How cute, now see, it's sticking off the edge a little bit, and if I would have pushed this one flush a little more, it probably would have been okay right here, but I ain't, I'm not gonna sweat it. Okay, so I'm going to give it, <clears throat> give it a coat of White Waverly. Hey, Sue, you're in Las Vegas. I bet the weather's nice there. Selling the gnomes at the flea market. Okay, see my little handles? Isn't that really cute? I just think that's so cute. All right, so I'm just gonna um, give it a little quick coat of paint. I do, Marilyn. You can get on my texting list. I need to put my number back up here, but um, my number is 662 um, a, uh, three, three, nine, eight, one, eight, eight. If you'll text join to that number or just, Hey, or whatever, you'll be on the list. So I'm trying real careful not to get around my, my little jute handles right there. Rainy and windy in Idaho. It's, it's not been windy here. It's just been real humid and rainy. So yeah, these are the small, I see somebody saying small. These are the small little blocks from Dollar Tree, and I just built a little box. What was it, eight sets of two? Is that what we said? So two, 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 and then, you know, all the way around. Three in the front, three in the back, one on each end. 91 in Vegas, wow. I'm not ready for all of that yet. So I'm gonna give this a quick coat, and we're gonna let it dry. I'm liking my little crate. I think it looks really cute. She's in Las Vegas for work this week. Thank you, Tammy. Yeah, just just text that number, join to that number, and it'll ask you what your name is and all that good stuff, and um, you'll be on the list. You have a hard time getting them to stay glued? Um, Susan, I use Gorilla Glue Sticks, and, you know, they're, they're kind of expensive, but... I won't ever go back because I love the way they stay. Um, I don't know what kind you're using, but they work for me. And I just press really hard, but they do make wood glue sticks. And you can put them together with wood glue if you want to. I have some of the wood ones somewhere. Is it Terry or Lee Strickland? Hey, from Pine Mountain, Georgia. I don't know where Pine Mountain is. All right, um, almost got it painted. This is the tricky part, is trying to paint the last side. <laughs> and I'm probably not going to do but one coat because I still want it to look woodsy. <laughs> is that a word? Only thing that seems to work for you is wood something. But they do make, Sherbonder makes the wood glue sticks. And I have, I have used them in the past. But these Gorilla Glue ones, man, they, they hold. They are there. But if you put it outside, I'm sure it wouldn't hold up. Hey, Leanne, I used uh, just some regular old, the tongue depressor craft stick looking things. <laughs> not the, not regular popsicles, but the, like, tongue depressor size. And I'm just... Doing the inside just because. I don't know. Doesn't seem like it's finished. The bottom won't bother me as much. Oh, 
I did forget one thing though. I'm gonna do on the bottom. So I might have to, all right, I'm gonna go over my fingerprints. It's not the best paint job, but you know. AC's been broken since Tuesday. Oh my gosh, are you sweating down? Okay, so that's drying. Now, should I put feet on it? I've got beads. Janine, I love the Gorilla Glue ones. I, I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't know that I've ever tried the Sure Bonder ones. Should I put those feet, or should I even leave off the feet? Y'all think on that, and we're gonna start on the. Whoop, I'm gonna start on my peel bottle. Look, I just got paint on my arm. <laughs> my tattoo on my wrist. It is a heart that my best friend who passed away a year ago, she had that heart on her foot and then it's just watercolor paint around it. I know Kathy is, that's a long story. Uh, whenever Facebook decides to give it back to me. <clears throat> LaDonna, I put my beads like on a um, bamboo skewer and then put them down like in a salt shaker or a sugar shaker thing. And that's how I do mine. Um, and then I just hold the skewer and I paint my beads. Yeah, it's hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully, I'll get them back one day. You think feet? The round ones. Okay. So, maybe, maybe I should. All right. Then I'm going to have to paint the bottom <laughs> and the feet. I may, I don't know. I might leave the feet there. Somebody said, somebody said they look out of proportion. Okay. What about we do this? What about I put them like this and then y'all can look and see. Quit rolling around. <laughs> okay, then y'all can y'all can decide. See, can you see the feet? Feet, other feet, feet, other feet. <laughs> feet, feet. <laughs> I think I like these. I think the other ones are too tall. No feet with handles. I'm going to put feet on them. Heck, let's just do it. I can always heat them up with a, with a heat tool and pop them off. Oh, somebody said, depends on what you're going to do. Well, that's true. I guess y'all don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> that may make it wopsided. But I can always heat it up and pop them off. That's a wonderful thing. Thank you, Kathy. It came from Beware Sportswear last year. I gotta get me some new ones. Okay. Y'all know I love t-shirts. Okay. So, there are the feet. See? <laughs> but I can heat it up. Okay. Now, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with the peel bottle. So, now that our little crate thing is built, I painted it with white chalk paint. And no, it's not perfect. It's just there. Okay? I just did it for a base coat because when I did this the first time... I didn't know if it was going to show through because that's kind of a loud color, right? And, okay, I'm not going to worry about it. So, the ones I've already finished, I painted inside about that far down, just so you don't want to see that orange. And I did paint the bottom on the ones that I've already finished and have dried. So, the other night, let me find a color that y'all are going to be able to see really good. Okay. The other night, um, we did those vases right here. Do you remember? And we're talking about the baking soda. So, I wanted to put a really thick coat on here. Everybody's feet, 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 feet. Hey, Sherry. Uh-oh. So, this is just um, sweet mint is what color this is. So, I'm, um, I'm going to put a good bit... I mean, it's probably a teaspoon, maybe, in there. And these are perfect because y'all can see what's going on in my little bowl. <laughs> so, I, there was no magic formula that I did with my baking soda. I just kind of put some in, and this was all the magic it was. There was no measuring involved. You know, I'm not all about some measuring. I'm just going to pour it in there. 
All right, so you're gonna get this, you just keep stirring it, and it's gonna get to like uh, toothpaste, the consistency of toothpaste. And that's like icing almost. Can y'all see that? It's just, oh, I don't know what that was. But anyway, that was baking soda that came out. So be sure to get all the clumps out. But it, it makes it almost like a plaster mixture kind of thing. But it's thick. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not coming off my brush. Now, this was the pour paint brush that I used to do the first ones I tried. And then I found out you really don't need a paintbrush. You just need your good old fingers. Um, okay, so Rhonda says 50-50. I eyeball it too, Judy. <laughs> she just said it right out of my mouth. I just put like paint and then baking soda and, you know, get it to where. I, and luckily I did it the right the first time. I just kind of kept adding it till I thought it was the consistency that I liked it. You kind of want it like... Uh, plaster. Now this gets messy. You can do it with a paintbrush if you want to, but I didn't. I'm just going to do it with my fingers because I found it to be easier. Kind of like icing a cake with your fingers. So see, it's this consistency. It's not going to fall off my finger. Um, I know this color's really pretty. So, and I'll tell you something about the color in a minute because I, I don't know. Something about the baking soda did something to one of my colors and I don't know. I've tried to fix it twice. Okay, so I just start smearing it on, just like that. And I, I want it, I wouldn't say thick. Let me get it. I just kind of keep kept going around, and I've done six of these. <laughs> so, because I had to practice to get it like I wanted it. Um, so, I just kind of keep going around the bottle and smoothing it out. It's like almost like you're putting clay on top. So, it's not, I don't have it thick. I just have it enough to coat the surface, but you can't see anything under there. So the white part, I painted it white just in case because I didn't want to mess it up. If, in fact, I, you could see it, then you, you know, we, I guess I could have wiped it off and started over, but I just base coated it white just for the sake of just in case. Because that's kind of a loud color, that orange. Um, hey, Shirley. Okay. So I've got it covered and I went up to just the little rim part because we're going to do something to the top and I didn't want it all the way up to up the whole thing, but you can do whatever you want. So now I'm just kind of raking my finger down and getting it, you know, if it's, if it's thick in some places, but I've got the whole thing covered. Now you can do whatever you want on this part. You can make it smooth and smooth it all out as smooth as you can get it like that. So I took my finger and I just did this all over my bottle because it kind of makes the stuff make little peaks and it gives it a funny texture. Um, so it just makes it a little more, I don't know, interesting looking, I guess, or gives it just gives it a little texture. Because I knew Y'all know me, I was gonna dry brush these, okay? Um, Cause I wanna kinda tone down a little, the color, even though it's pastel. All right, and that's all I did. Now, I set mine outside in the sun, okay? And they dried real fast. Not, not I wouldn't say real fast. Like, I left them out there about 30 minutes or so and I brought them inside and they were dry. Um, yeah, Lori, I, that's what I was thinking too. I'm like, that bottle is such a slick, slick surface. I was scared it wouldn't do it. Norma, yes, it looks like stucco. <laughs> it looks just like stucco. Hey, Ann. Hey, Amy. Um, stippled. There you go, Donna. Y'all, see, y'all, I need y'all. Y'all, y'all help me. <laughs> okay, so there it is. It's all wet. Now, I'll leave it, and tomorrow it'll be dry. But if you, I set mine outside in the sun to see, you know, if that would help. But that was sweet mint, and that is one of the colors I did. Um, so I did sweet mint, and then before I came live, I just kind of took a piece of a sponge. It's real scientific. Dollar Tree sponge. And I just tapped on some um, white chalk paint 
just to kind of to calm that down a little bit. Margie, I am recycling pill bottles. Um, cause I had some people ask me to do it, that they had a whole bunch and I was like, Oh, I do too. So I'll make some. So I've made this little crate. I got to finish the top, but my little bottles. Okay. There's my pink one. See, it's got the white on it. Um, is going to go in here like this. Now this is where I need y'all to tell me, do they, are they too far down in the crate and do they need to be like, this is where the lids come in. Do they need to be raised up like this? Do they need to be that high or should they be down low? Okay. Hey, Joyce, I'm doing good. How are you? <laughs> Nancy's like, I'm going to make something with my fill bottles. Okay. So this, let's see, this color, that's sweet mint. This is poodle skirt pink, which is like one of my new favorite colors. It's like a baby pink. So pretty. And it turned this funny peachy pink color after the baking soda and I put it out in the sun. But I don't think it was the sun because even after that, I brought it inside. It had dried. I took this paint and painted over it one more time to get it back to the color it's supposed to be. And it was still was this pink. It, it, it turned it like a little different color. And I don't know if it's maybe something in the paint and something in the baking soda and the paint together. I don't know. I don't know what it did, but it was weird. Um, so this is my yellow and it is Anita's sunshine yellow. So it's, it's like a real baby yellow. It's a light yellow. Um, so I haven't, uh, sponged on it yet. Cause I was going to wait. Nancy, watch what we're going to put in the bottles. I'm going to teach y'all something else. And I'm, yeah, you know, the, y'all know the fabric flowers that I got y'all stuck on. Y'all just wait till you see what I'm going to make next to go in the bottles. You're going to be like, she's got to stop. <laughs> but these are, I'm like, I just made a whole bunch. Let's put it like that. Okay. So all I did, just to knock down that yellow a little bit, because it is a little bright, you could wax it. Because y'all, this stuff is like, it's like concrete on there. It is like concrete. <laughs> um, let me get some more white. So I'm just kind of pouncing all over it and toning that yellow down but I've got to wrap the top. Okay, I love the crate so much that when they're in there higher, it takes away from the crate. Okay, so they need to be like they were. And somebody says high, raised, high. Depends on what you're putting in them. Okay, so I'll wait on that part. And I don't have to even glue them in there. Let me get a little bit more. But it kind of tones that down just a little. Just want it like muted is a better word, I guess. Okay, so that's low and that's high. But we can decide that in a minute. You're so stocked on flowers. All right, Marilyn, I'm gonna turn you on something else in a minute. <laughs> you just wait. I love them too, Judy. Mine are up there. Y'all just can't even see them. Okay, so here's my bottles. So to go along with our little jute handles that we got going on on our little crate over here, let me get this one because it's dry. Um, I'm just going to wrap the top with, let me move this, with um, my jute. I'm just going to go around the top. <laughs> Belita, that's why you like watching me. I just could come up with some crazy stuff. Now, I'm going to stop here and say this. Which one did I do? I don't think it's over here. I did take an X-Acto knife and I tried, and I was successful. Um, I tried to cut off those little, y'all know, those little spiky things that the top holds on to. You can take an X-Acto knife and you can shave them off. And I was successful in doing that because that's what I did at first. I thought, well, I'm going to take those off and see if I can get them off. You know, I kind of experimented a little bit. Barbara, they are. They're medicine bottles. We're recycling medicine bottles 
because everybody's probably got them. I've had some since my surgery. Where's my glue gun? It's right here in front of me. No, Teresa, they're not button flowers. No. Uh, okay, so I just put a little dab of glue there. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit here and there and wrap my jute around the top because we're gonna cover up all that part. But y'all see, I did paint on the inside and my little floral foam is already in there. But I did paint down about that far in my little bottles just so you wouldn't see that orange, that ugly glaring orange. Who else is? Karen, um, Mandy that um, is with my friend, my biz buddy friend, um, she is going to do a craft right after me on her page. And she's going to do a pill bottle one too. Because I was telling her about my craft. And I was like, hey, why don't you come up with something and do it right after me? Because everybody's wanting something to do with these pill bottles. And she was like, okay, I'll come up with something. Y'all, she showed me a while ago what she came up with. Because we weren't going to show each other. And then, of course, we gave in because I couldn't stand it no more. And I about had, had a throw down fit over hers. And I know if I did, I know that y'all will because I loved it. I was like, no. She said, I'm going to send you one. Um, so you just wait. Bead flowers. What did I put on them? I, put ba I mixed baking soda and just regular craft paint together and made like a toothpaste kind of consistency of stuff. Um... But I'm just kind of going around these and those bumps, like I was telling you that I tried to cut them off, they are hard to cover up. So I'm just going around till I don't see any of that anymore. And just putting dots of glue. Trying not to burn myself. Okay, yeah, the, people do, people paint with this stuff on like glass vases and stuff and make it look like stone. And I thought, well, I'm going to do it on a pill bottle. But see, there's my little top. See how I painted down in there where you can't really see and it's all kind of messed up. But anyway, so who is Mandy? Mandy, um, her page is Western Grace. If somebody will put her up there, I will um, tag her. I mean, I'll pin it at the bottom so that way when I get done, y'all can go right onto her page. Um, but y'all remember, hey, Deborah, I'm good. How are you? Y'all remember a year or two ago where um, people were, had the little salt and pepper shakers and they did the butter dish and then everybody was doing it and I just loved that craft. This is kind of, to me, kind of a throw onto that. But we can't find that butter dish at the Dollar Tree anymore. It was so cute. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? Okay, so somebody said they have tons of bottles and they toss them all the time. There it is. Crap. Look at Suki. Suki, what are you doing? It's so good to see you on here. I'm trying to pin it. Okay. So there is, at the bottom, Suki did it for me. Thank you so much, Suki. We're so glad to have you on here. Um, that's her page. So after I get done, y'all can just hop right on her page, and she's going to go live, and she's going to show you what she's going to do with her pill bottles. Thank y'all for posting her page. Um, okay, so while I was at the doctor's office today, I did a little research could wood burning melt take off them off the bottle? I don't know what you, I don't know what you, I missed part of that, I guess. You did the butter dish and see, I, I did too and I loved it. I did a butter dish um, and I made a picture frame with a window frame, a window, like a window scene behind it and I did, the butter dish was the um, like window box. I did that, whew, 2020? Beverly, it's a butter dish that the Dollar Tree used to carry. I haven't seen it in a long time. It's a certain style. And they turned it upside down to where it was open. And then they took salt and pepper shakers and painted them, the glass ones, and took the tops off and painted them different colors and lined them up in the little butter dish, kind of like this. 
Hey, Patty. Yeah, there's Mandy's pay. There's Mandy right there. See, she's standing by. Mandy is standing by. And her, I wonder if, is Stafford with you, Mandy? Is he going to be there? Her husband is, is the, is the biggest goofball. He's like a grown kid, I promise. Like everybody's saying hey to Suki. Y'all don't know who Suki is? Y'all go check out Suki's page. Um, crafting with Suki. Suki had COVID and she was in the hospital for so many months, y'all. And she is home and she's doing so much better. Okay. There's my pink one. Let's see. So I'm just wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. All right. This is just the boring part. Let's see. Same here. Butter dish and salt and pepper shakers too. They were so cute. And I just kept seeing them in all these different Dollar Tree groups. This was before I ever started, a, you know, started crafting on a page. And, um, of course, I had to do it because it was adorable. They did. Tammy, they, they're white and they're smooth. But I like those plastic ones with the little ridges on them better. And we probably sold China out on all of those butter dishes. If the truth be known, we probably bought all that China had. <laughs> all of them. Stafford is my... Oh, <laughs> Hannah's like, Stafford is my brother from another mother. Walmart has them too? I did not know that. But, um, so yeah, y'all gotta, y'all gotta see Stafford if you don't know who Stafford, Stafford's her husband. Her last name's Stafford, but that's what they call him at Stafford. And he is so hilarious. I just roll laughing at him. And y'all know Nancy was my moderator. She passed away last year, coming up on a year almost. Um, and she loved her some Stafford too. Okay. So now I got all my little jars. So I think I'm going to take the lids out, but if you want to raise them up, you could do the lids. We might can find, those would be great wheels on something, wouldn't they? Okay. It's a wonder I throw anything away, right? Thank you, Donna. Okay. So here are my little bottles. Now we're going to put something in them. I'm so excited. This is, I love this part. This is, y'all. I'm addicted. I'm sorry. What time is it? Okay, I'm doing good. All right. So this is, y'all know my, I love book pages. You could use book pages, music pages, hymnal pages, magazines. It doesn't matter. Scrapbook paper. Okay, but this is so easy. Newspaper. You can use newspaper. That stuff that comes in the mail that you don't want, use that. Okay, so I'm going to take five pages four, five, okay? And I've got some done. I've got some almost done because you'll see why in a minute. Hey, Kat. Okay, hey, Glenda. All right, so let me move this so y'all can see it if you're just hopping on. All right, so I've got five book pages. Cheryl, I made the crate out of the little Jenga blocks and I'm probably, I may go back and distress it with something. I don't know yet, um, but it's Jenga blocks. It's eight sets of two, so it's, Set of two, set of two, set of two. On, that sounds funny, don't it? Front and back. And then one on the end and one on this end. And I smushed a piece of jute in there like little handles. And then on the bottom, I just used um, popsicle sticks. I do too, Tanya. I love a book. Okay, so book pages. Something I got at Goodwill or somewhere, a thrift store. They were, Patty. You couldn't find the salt and pepper shakers. Okay. And you'll see why we need five in a minute. All right. So, I got to move some stuff out of the way, though, because I'm probably going to make a mess. All right. My watercolors. You could do this with paint. Um, you could do this with watered-down paint. You could do it with markers. You could do it with whatever you want to do it with. And this would be great for, like, a little girl craft. This would be great. Um, and if y'all don't know about watercolors, I don't know a whole lot about watercolors. I'm learning. That's one thing I want to learn really bad um, is watercolor. But you need a spray bottle, and you need to spray down your palette. Just spray it down. Spray the paint. Just get it wet. I did learn that. I do know a little, little something. Little something. Um, okay, so... 
and move this out of the way. So you're just gonna take your book page. You got five of them. So we gotta do both sides. Let me get my clean water. <sighs> Can't find the Jingle Blocks anymore. And see, I have them in mine. I don't know what's going on with them. Okay. So I'm gonna get my paintbrush wet. Now this is not any expertise, anything. Y'all just watch. So let me move that over there. So I got my color. So I'm gonna pick, I don't know, a real pretty flower color. And then I'm just gonna kind of do this. This is little kid painting, okay? Easy peasy. Get you some pink in there, some purple. And I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna even do the whole page. Just gonna kind of be like this. And then I'm gonna get my brush wet and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And I'm not gonna sit here and do all 10 because I have some that are already dry. <laughs> it's the magic of television. <laughs> I'm kidding, we're not even on TV. Okay, so you're gonna just do that. Do some blues, you can even get in here and get some blue, whatever color you want your flower to kind of be like. This is what, you just do whatever. And then I just kind of laid them out on my table and I let them dry under my fan. They dry quick, okay? So you do five of those book pages or whatever you're using, newspapers, whatever you're gonna use. This came from Michael's. I think it was like $5 or something. Walmart has these two. And for this practical purposes, they're great because I'm gonna show you the dried ones. Okay, so now all my little dried pages See, I got blue and like this. I got five blue ones. See, they got a little green. Some of them have a little light blue, dark blue. And I'm gonna stack them up like this. We're gonna do the yellow one in a minute. All right, so I got them stacked up, okay? Five pages. I want 10 circles. So I'm just going to fold it in half like this. I'm telling y'all, this is so easy, it's funny ridiculous okay now I'm going to roughly cut a circle no nothing major I don't care if it's perfect jagged whatever it's just going to add that much more of character to it Dollar Tree yeah they have they do have watercolor at Dollar Tree I forgot about that Crayola is great their pigments are great okay my book pages it really doesn't matter um but I'll measure Let me see, all the numbers are just about gone. This is six and a half by four, okay? Where am I going? And my circles, I'm, like, they're not even perfect, okay? So, that's like two and three-fourths across. So, you know, that big. No, nothing major, and they're not perfect, okay? So, I've got them all stacked up. And now, we're going to cut spokes, I'm not, I'm not even going all the way to the center, okay? I'm just cutting. I'll try to see if you can see that in just a second. So I'm just going around. So I don't know if y'all can see how far in. So I'm not cutting all the way to the center. Almost, but not all the way. Oh, Tammy, I am. I think they've already rolled through here, and it wasn't really bad. We just got a bunch of, of a lot of rain. Okay. And this is no perfect wave nothing to do this just start cutting you some slits okay so they look like that they're just all the way around okay now now you want to restack your stack don't leave them in that order you know turn them upside down because we don't want them to be stuck together like that okay so unstack them and stack them back so they're not all like that, they're all stuck together because you cut them. Okay, so like this, okay? I'll make my little circle again. It doesn't look like much, but it's going to here in just one second and be ready to be amazed. Because <laughs> I was like, amazed. Okay, so now I'm just gonna do this, okay? Get it all crumpled up. And this dust from, I guess, the watercolor paint is coming off of it. But, and so I'm just trying to pull it out, pull the layers out, crumple all those little bitty pieces that we cut. So 
see my fingers? Can y'all see all that dust? And it makes this so cool. Okay, so I've already made a, this one for y'all. And <laughs> Tanya, you're so funny. This is like a greenish blue that I did. Um, and if you want to, you don't even have to do the watercolor. You can just totally leave it as a book page and do it just like this. Um, so if you want to, you can pry it all back and see there's my little staple with my cheap little Dollar Tree somewhere stapler. But there's my staple. Now, if you so wanted to, you could take you a button and glue it right in the center, or you could uh, put a piece of felt. You could do it like that, or you could just leave it all crumpled up like this and not even put a center in it so it's kind of almost like a dandelion type thing. So easy, y'all. I'm telling you, it's so, so easy. Um, it looks like a paper pom-pom. Exactly. That's exactly what it looks like. So, you could put our flat, our pom-pom little flowers in here, too. All right. So, I'm going to do it one more time for y'all. Let's see. I got pink. Let's do pink. I've already cut it, but I'm going to show y'all how to cut it again. So, five pages. Thank y'all for the hearts. Okay, five, this is only going to be four pages because I don't know what happened to the other one. I'll just put a plain one in here in the middle somewhere. But you can just do plain if you want to. So, this is just something I scribbled yellow on. So, I'm going to fold it in half. So, that makes it ten circles. This is just easy to cut it. <laughs> Mandy's like, stop it! Okay. So, now... I'm gonna just roughly cut a circle and you can make these big, you can make them little, you, however you wanna do it. Okay, so, and then I'm gonna just cut my spokes. I'm just cutting down to the center. No, not a certain space, I'm just, just going at it. I'm not even really caring if it's perfect or not because the more, less perfect it is, the better, all right? So there's all my little spokes, got them all cut. And I'm gonna staple it right in the center. This is like back from the scrapbooking days, y'all. I'm pulling this way on back. Okay, so there's our flower. I got glue strings all over me. Okay, and then I'm just gonna do this. Uh-oh, Judy's having knee surgery and she gotta go run by her some watercolors. Well, you go get you some. And Crayola in the school aisle, are they're, they are really good. Um, you don't have to have fancy ones. And I paint on my wood with these too, y'all. Beautiful. Try that. So much fun. Painting on wood with, with watercolor. Oh, and I made the little cart. <laughs> Somebody said I made the little cart too. Okay. <laughs> and I was like, geez, I got a lift. So you just kind of sit here and scrunch it all up and do all that to it. And then you, this one is like really wanting to stick together. Did I not? I didn't restack them. I did not restack them. That's what happened. See how it did? I'm having such a hard time. That's what happened. I didn't restack it. So be sure to stack it back. Because look, I'm having a hard time pulling them all apart. But don't do what I just did. Be sure to restack your stack. Um, okay. So anyway. This one's been restacked. And it's already stapled. That's the importance of restacking. Because see, it's, not, it's still all wanting to stay together. Yep, Pat. Yep. I didn't. Okay, this one's been done like that because I did it before I came live. Yes, Sheila was. And I got way ahead of myself. Oh, Lori's telling me. See, y'all don't miss a beat. Y'all don't miss a beat. Okay, so just crumple it all up. Just don't worry. You're not going to hurt it. And if you do, it's just paper we throw away. Newspaper will work. Anything will work. Any kind of paper. Go to the Dollar Tree, get you a book or... 50 cents at a garage sale or, you know, some people get mad when you tear up books, but there are such things as discarded books, so don't feel bad. Okay. Yes, Becky, yes, you can just take Crayola markers, pencils, colored pencils. It doesn't matter. You don't even have to. You could just leave them like this. Um, you could do, like, if you want them vintage looking, you could just hit the edges of your circle with, like, that, those, um, ink pads and just try it all different ways. So, anyway, so there's our little flower. 
Oh, and I gotta hurry up. <laughs> We're off in flower land over here. Okay. Pipe cleaners, whatever you got. I got floral wire. I'm just gonna make them a stem. So let's see. I think, I don't think I'm gonna let mine have middles, like a center, like this one. Where's my yellow one? Like that. You can totally do that. Um, Y'all really do pay attention, Lori. I know you do. Y'all help me because, see, I was like, what is going on with this flower? So I'm just kind of somehow putting this wire in here, I guess. I'm trying to get it covered up like that, maybe. I don't know. I'm making this part up as I go. Best way you can detach that wire. I just kind of slid it over the top and just I'm just kind of twisting it down here. Then I didn't even have to glue the thing. All right, so there's that. Whew, I just lost the pedal. Okay, now I'm just gonna, I hope Mandy's watching so she knows I'm not done. Pastels, Becky, yeah, try. That is not gonna cut that wire. Right handle, wrong pair. I don't know where mine are, so. Yes, Kathy, your granddaughter would love it. Um, these are so easy and just so cute. And you could put a little book paper leaf on here. Oh, let's don't put the pink in the pink. But I did put a little piece of floral foam because I know it grates everybody's ears when I cut it. So, um, that's, I just went ahead and did it beforehand. So, let's see. Tea, somebody said tea stained. Yep, pedal down, Lori. The long paint thing. This long paint thing? This came from Michaels. I know Walmart has it too. Um, and you just remember, you need to spray your watercolor down. Just spray the whole thing with water. And of course, your brush is wet. Oh, Jean used to make them with tissue paper. Let's see what happens if I glue it up in there. Just find a good spot. But see, I used to do scrapbooking a long time ago. Y'all probably did too. Some of y'all did too. And you learn how to make all these cute little paper flowers and stuff. Hey, Christy. Look, Christy, I got my hat. Did you get your hat? Christy from Christy's Craft Room is on there. She um she she made it to the semifinals like I did. I know she got a hat too. I hadn't seen her sport it yet. I know her dad had an accident, so she had to go see about her dad in Canada. Okay, so here's the my little flowers. But like I said, if you want to put your stem to where and keep the center like this, you can, okay? So then it would be standing up like this. Um, and I'm just going to cut my wires off. And then I'm going to poke it down in here. See, look how stinking cute. Some of y'all might think she's lost her cord. She's crazy. You're not a lover of paper, but small star from ball and make rag balls. Stacy, I made a rag ball last 4th of July and because Amanda made had made the cutest little rag ball flower and I asked her could I do it in patriotic so I did and it was so cute. Gwen you still do it? Thank you Dawn. <laughs> Coffee filter flowers yes but they're so I mean y'all there's so much you can do with this and it's so inexpensive and these are the kind of flowers that I can take care of because they're not gonna die. Because I will kill a plant, y'all. I promise. I will hurt a plant. Look how stinky cute. But you could put leaves on them. We could put, we could put moss in our little, um, breaking out the moss, in our little peel bottles. Y'all running to get your peel bottles and put you some Waverly white paint on them all so they'll dry. <laughs> Oh, for the stem, there, it's just a floral, a piece of floral wire. Walmart has it. Use a pipe cleaner. Use what you have. You don't have to go buy. I just have floral wire for whatever reason. Um, use whatever you have. Pipe cleaner. Doesn't matter. You could use a shish kebab stick. You don't even have to have wire. Um, do whatever you got. So I'm just going to put a little moss in here. So you can't see the ugliness that's down in there. But now, would you ever know that those were pill bottles? I would not even know. Whew. Let's 
going on? Look how stinking cute. Let me spread them apart. My flat, my middle flower is about too big. Let's see. Fix it. Now, look at my peel bottles. Those are so stinking cute. But I, you know, I, I, I might still distress this. I don't know though. I kind of like the white. But I noticed that you are making your shirt. What am I doing to my shirt? <laughs> but anyway, look how cute this is. It's so cute. But let me show y'all the ones I've, I've already, I did. This was the route I started to go with. This is gray. I put gray in with, it's pewter gray. And I put this with my baking soda. And I was going to distress them. White. And see, they look, it looks like concrete. Um, but then I decided I wanted to go pastel, so I need to do something with these now, but I mean, y'all, this has been dry since yesterday. It is not going anywhere. It is set up like concrete, I promise. Here's the one that we just did. It still has to dry, and here's a big one. This was my first try, so this is one of the big bottles, so you could definitely do it to those too, th this size. Um, I don't put anything on the crate. You like it white too. Y'all like it white. They look like, oh, they look like my shirt. They do, y'all, that's so funny. That is hilarious. I can't even, I didn't plan that, I promise. I didn't even notice. But how, okay, so this, how cute would that look on there? If you did one striped, one with stars, y'all, that's so cute. Cute, and you could leave the crate, you could do it white, or you could leave, you could do it like a, a natural um, brown, you know, and you do the uh, patriotic, and oh, y'all, there's so many possibilities. Look, so cute. I love these flowers. But look how, but even if I put centers in them, they would still look so cute. Now y'all gonna be making all of these um, flowers. Yeah, I got it now. I was like, what is she talking about? I got it on my shirt. I don't know what she meant. Y'all, I did it in an hour. Oh, I can't believe it. Hey, Brenda. She's at the Mexican... You're, uh, you're at Cinco de Mayo, Brenda. Uh, this is from Beware Sportswear. Oh, succulent. Oh, yes. Put succulent in there. That would look super cute. Look. Let's see. Like a succulent. We could make some succulents. Look at that blue. Look how pretty that blue is. Though. It looks like a hydrangea. Um, okay, Charlene, you, you're going to make some tall ones with those big ones. I don't have any of the big ones. Thank you, Tanya. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to hop off and... And Mandy's link is right there at the bottom. So you can click her and go to her page and wait. Because she's going to come on and she y'all wait to see what she's going to do. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm going to watch because I want to see how she did it. Because she showed it to me and I was like, ah. So I'm going to I'm gonna save some bottles for that. So, um, so y'all, I hope y'all love this. And I hope y'all enjoy Mandy. She is, and Stafford is hilarious. But she is super talented, and go see her and do her do her thing. Um, so I love y'all, and I will see y'all Monday. And I'll post tomorrow about when the stuff's gonna go in my shop. But thank y'all for watching, and I hope y'all enjoyed this because I did. So y'all go check out Mandy. I love y'all. See y'all Monday. Bye guys.